Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be looking at adding in grenades to our um, system so far. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is uh, I have downloaded this pack. It's called the FPS Weapon Bundle. Uh, the only thing I'm taking from it is this grenade. Uh, I want some more sci-fi grenades, but for now it's just, just to get functionality in there. Uh, so once you've downloaded that, it should be free, I believe, um, or very cheap. Um, so go into your, once you've downloaded it, uh, open up the FPS weapon bundles, find the grenade and create a blueprint actor. Uh, I've already set one up because I've tested this uh, to make sure this all works. But basically I just added in a static mesh, well the static mesh gets added in anyway, but I've, compared, I've compiled a sphere to it and I've added this project movement into it. Um, I've added 2000 to the initial speed and the max speed. Uh, I've added should bounce and should angle bounce. Uh, bounce this is 0 0.04, friction is 0 0.6 and bounce velocity is 2 and then I've also added in um, some velocity 150, it's hard to see with the so small um, but I've added in 150 velocity to that. Uh, in the event graph you will want to create a set timer by event. Set it to 3 seconds because that's this, this uh, time limit for a, a typical grenade. Create a custom event called detonate uh, which will this will fire every time those three seconds have been uh, we want to get our grenade drag in the grenade get its world location spawn in an emitter there which I've clicked uh, just a grenade explosion we also want to get the relative transform off of our grenade uh, spawn our explosive force which is we set up with our explosive barrel and then we just want to destroy that actor at the end of that um, once you've done all of that, that should be your grenade working completely fine. Um, we downloaded the grenade throw animation last time in uh, from Mixamo in our Mixamo um, tutorial. Uh, all I've done is I've set the default group to upper body and created an upper body montage slot just so um, it all makes sense when you open up the montage. You know it's the upper body, and the default group will be set to the upper body as well. Save that and that should be good to go as well. And now we just need to sort our functionality. Now in the project settings, I've set up a new input for grenade and grenade change. So that will be for the next episode. Right click and just search for your new action event. Obviously you name yours, whatever you want. Um, and then we need to do uh, any checks where you don't want uh, a grenade to be thrown. The only one I have is I don't want to be able to throw a grenade when we're sliding. Uh, but again, if you don't want to be able to throw a grenade when you're jumping or running or crouching, you just need to add those variables in so those don't action when you're pressing that button. Now, because of the way I've set my weapons up, I need to obviously check to see if any of those are active. So if sliding is false, we can move on to the next section and we want to check to see if um, our pistol is active. Uh, and then the next one we want to check for is if our rifle is active. Now, of course, when we add more weapons, we will need to expand on this. Um, but for now, this will be absolutely fine. The first thing we want to do is if our pistol is active, we want to set our pistol back uh, to false. Sorry. And we want to set our rifle to false. Um, so that will get rid of those completely. The next thing we want to do is we want to set our skeletal mesh, uh, this weapons mesh. So set skeletal mesh. And we want to set that to our grenade. Luckily this pack comes with a skeletal mesh we can use. So copy and paste that twice because we also want to set this for if we have nothing in our hands. So do that. Um, once we've set our skeletal mesh to that, we then want to play our new animation montage, like so. And we want to set that to our grenade throw. Once that's playing, we want to work out uh, exactly how long that animation lasts for to the point where we uh, throw when I've already set work this out it's 0 0.8 is perfectly fine it's just when that hand comes up 
uh, and then the grenade should release from the hand basically uh, it's just to make it look more fluid so add in a delay now normally as I said before you could set your delay up to your animation mesh by just pulling it off but because we want this to action at a certain point within the animation montage we don't want to set it to the full speed we only want to set it to that 0 0.8 the next thing we want to do is then, uh, now we can, again, just don't forget to copy and paste this down three times so that it runs at, depending on what our branches are doing. Now, you could have it, hmm, you could have it that you do these independently and it just runs off into the same one. I'm going to keep it separate just for my own sanity so I, I, I keep a good tab of what's going on depending on each one but you could have it that the branch runs down and once it's uh, figured out what's going on it just does the one simple thing and then you do another branch at the end if you want to keep it a little bit tidier I might change it up to that later but for now let's just keep going um, so then next thing we want to do is spawn the actor from class which is going to be our grenade master BP for now now the grenade master BP is because I want to create some children for different grenades um, but we can look at that again later on then we want to add the mesh we want to get the mesh and get um, actor no get socket location and we want to get the socket rotation like so and then we want to um, pre make transform uh, plug those both in drag oh um, now I don't think I want the socket rotation actually I think what I want to get is I want to get the camera the, fo the Ford camera rotation get a uh, world rotation the reason I want the camera rotation is because as the animation is playing, that socket is going to rotate into a position that probably wouldn't work as well for us. So we want to get the cameras forward, so it's always throwing it in the correct direction. It's not going off to the side or the left or right, for example. Uh, and then all we need to do is plug that transform in. Uh, and then we want to... Uh, the first thing, uh, before this actions, what we want to do is at the 0 0.8 moment the grenade that that character is holding we want to destroy so we want to set that back to none so that that grenade disappears from the hand and in the same instance spawns and fires forward once that's happened all we need to do is if we're running from the pistol we want to set that back to being true and we want to reset our skeletal mesh the skeletal mesh of the weapon back to that pistol our darkness pistol now the rest of this should in theory be exactly the same but what we can do to speed things up is just plug that exact same transform back into our spawn actor um, now the other thing you want to be careful of is <coughs> that once this fires that pistol will also respawn so you might just want to add in another delay of 0 0.2 is probably okay uh, but you probably want that to action just before we um, reset our weapon back into place so set that back to true as well like so and then we just want to re-grab that again plug that in there and set that to our white uh, assault rifle for this one here because we're not setting anything um, necessarily we just want to copy uh, these last three bits off we won't need the delay because it's just going to reset it back to having nothing in the hand uh, and that should work once we've plugged the transform in. And we can do uh, a test of this, of course. 
Now if we pull that down there, plug it in, compile, third person map, press play, uh, let's just, let's, um, now, oh, ah, it's, it's spawning from the ground, and the reason for that is because the one thing I forgot to do was uh, add the bone name into the transform up here, which uh, I believe is weapon underscore r so compile that and it'll get the location the rotation and things should be fine there we go we're throwing a grenade now so it's throwing great uh we're throwing it we're putting our pistol away we're throwing the grenade and then we're getting it back out now i'm sure there could be some smoother uh ways to do that but for now wrong button that's fine she automatically gets the gun back into her hand before she brings it up so although yes it kind of disappears um i don't think it's actually as that bad from the first person perspective you know uh yeah i don't think that's actually that bad because it looks like she it looks actually looks like she pulls the gun down but because the the gun spawns back into that and it looks like it just she actually brings it back up so it actually looks quite fluid for the third person you probably would want to run a um sort of throw uh sort of like you might want to like a, an extra animation montage in there where they just put the weapon away first but other than that that's working perfectly fine you can see we can still walk around and stuff it's blending that animation still perfectly well um so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing we need to do now is um, set up a second grenade um, that probably acts a little bit different, maybe a different uh, emitter, like a blue one, just so we know there's a difference and then just have the change grenade function in there. And we also want to set up a few extra variables in the next episode where we will have uh, grenade amounts and we probably want to add that to our bottom right um and have a visual that shows a different maybe have a different color show for a different grenade or something like that but we'll set that up in the next episode thanks so much guys for watching and i will see you uh tomorrow much love take care bye bye